Okay, so this video is going to be about first block efficiency for Rube. And I'm going to focus mostly on move efficiency. So, I mean, even though we're just doing move efficiency, always realize that you're going to try to have speed efficiency. What first block you can do the fastest. Or even doing a first block that doesn't mess up some good pairs on your second block. So just like little things. But usually, having good move efficiency will be uh, good for your first block. Um, so I guess we'll talk about color neutrality. Say we only had a fixed block. So the only block that we can do is this block. Average move count for an optimal solver would be 6.7 in HTM. So that's pretty impressive. I know when I first learned it was 6.7, that was kind of, I couldn't believe it because that's way too low. But hopefully, as you improve your first block, you can see that 6.7 is not is not too crazy. <clears throat> um, so if you have two blocks, two starting blocks, the average move count is low six, I think, and then four is my is probably high five, and then eight is probably between high five and mid five, and maybe optimal is five. I'm not really sure. So you would be going from around 6.5 to 5 from being just one block to all 24 first blocks. And going from 2 to 8 is only going to be, I don't know, one, maybe even less number of moves that you save. So as you become very efficient at solving the first block, the move advantage of color neutrality starts to get lower and lower. But where color neutrality gets the most advantage is probably ease of finding the solution. And you can also just look at solutions that are easy to finger trick. So a lot of first block solves that are efficient and are hard to find are the ones that have counterintuitive moves like like some F's to set up stuff or I don't know some crazy stuff and when you have color neutrality then it's often easier to find solutions because you're not looking for these crazy solutions you're just looking for these easy solutions and when you're going to do the solutions they're going to be easier to finger trick all right, so for first block, it's kind of hard to teach move efficiency. It's mostly about a lot of practice and getting to know a lot of common situations. So this uh, website is probably good. It's not focused, but OK. That'll be in the description. I don't know how to focus that, but it's not yeah. focused cubegrass.appspot.com slash block underscore train so that'll be in the description and I think we're just going to do a whole bunch of first blocks looking at this website so it has you know it's got Petrus stuff there too but we're going to go to first block and this will give you how many moves I should get a mouse so we'll just start with one move. So this should be a one move. Scramble. And you should really get yourself familiar with all the one moves, just to make sure. So, I don't know, when you first start off, you might do that in three moves or something. So just realize all the one moves. You know, one move, one move. And do the same for two moves. Yeah. 
And I mean, even for two moves, you might not realize you might be doing like three move solutions for two move optimal. So I don't know. That's two moves. It's two moves. Okay. Same with three move. Let's do some four moves to see some more interesting concepts. That'll be okay. So we're we're going to do the blue one with the white on bottom. Oh, this is still two moves. Sorry. And probably practice. Keep you know keep practicing each level until you get really good at each level. And. So, okay. So, a lot of times, okay, let me. So, a lot of times, the idea in solving the first block is to solve like some type of square. And as you solve this, you kind of influence the other pair, and then you insert. Another way is some type of line. You solve one line here and one line there, and then you put them together. Hmm. Huh. Sometimes it's like like you're solving this and then one pair, another pair. Maybe like you're solving a center. I don't know. But those are the main ways to solve it. So if we look at this example, it's a it's a two line example. So you can see that you can solve this square pretty easily. So all right, let me point out the pieces, these ones, and then these two. So you move this over here, and we insert. But notice that this isn't solved. So we just undo the moves. So you can start off by solving it, and then doing the rest. I don't know if I undid the scramble right, but something like that. Okay. So this is straightforward. We're going to solve. Okay, let me point out the pieces again. These ones, these ones, and that one. So we're going to solve the orange square. So sometimes just kind of arbitrarily pick a square or line that you want to solve and see if you're going to need to like mix up how you solve it or you know just track the other pair and then just see what happens and maybe it'll be good maybe it's bad if it's bad try something else so I see that if I do this I solve that and then this is a two mover one two okay all right, let's do some five because I don't think four is that interesting. Let me just make sure that's five. All right, and sometimes these fives are going to be hard. So this one has an idea of kind of an in-between move. So as you're solving one square, you're influencing the other. So I'm going to solve... So let me point out the pieces again. This one, this one, this one, this one. So there are actually two in-between moves I'm going to do for this one. First one is like this. Because I see if I do an R2, these two are kind of in good position. So, and I also did this. So when I insert that one, this one will insert two. Um Okay. So this one I think you can actually solve in 4 cuz this is in HTM. So sometimes you might get something that you can solve with an M move, M move which would count as two moves. <clears throat> um so right, let me point out the pieces. You got this guy and these two. So right away I noticed that the red square is probably going to be easier the easier one because I mean that's a little bit harder. 
So like just an idea like R2 and then U prime wide. And that would be solved. But then you'd see that or I guess yeah, now you could solve it in three more moves. But for the four move solution, I would set up this move first. So one, two, three, four. Okay, uh huh. So this one is a little bit harder. Hmm. I'm not really sure how this is done. So you guys should be also following along. So get your cube out and try to solve it. Uh, can't really see a five move solution that easily. So, hmm. All right. So. Maybe like, I don't know if this five moves, but one, two, three, four, five, six, or five, six. Okay, I don't know. So when you're stuck on that, you can look at the answers. And a lot of times you'll see that they're very beautiful solutions. You're kind of like doing a lot of things at once and really kind of understand why that solution works. So the ideas behind it. So they have so they have R prime F. Okay. It's kind of that's yeah, that's pretty pretty beautiful. So R prime F. I mean like you look at this and it's like, what are you doing? Then with this So I don't know, that's pretty beautiful. So six um that's one that I think you can learn a lot about. Like I probably mix miss so much six move solutions in Speedsoft. So that's pretty that's the one I'm working on right now. And so let's try to do some six moves. So this one's probably straightforward, just or let me show you the pieces. These ones and these two. So these two pair right away. And then I just saw this one. And okay. So you know you should try to notice all these one move aways from getting paired up. Victory. This one also. So if I pair these up, they're good. So when I when I first see those, I'm gonna look. I'm just gonna do it and try to see what happens to the other pieces. So I see that you end up with this case. Oops, what did I do? You end up with this case, and the other pieces are here. And that's a good case because you can solve that in three moves. So I'd go one, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, and let's look at some seven move solutions. I'll probably get stuck on some of these so we can see some more interesting ideas. So just point out the pieces here, here, here and these two. So right away what I kind of see is, you know, this pairs this up and I can insert it like that. And so this would be seven moves, but it has an M slice, so I don't know. So let, let's kind of look at what their idea is, their seven move idea.
so okay I can't even understand it because I'm kind of like in the wrong orientation but f2 r2 f r oh, yeah I mean like some of these things I don't know how you, you can you can't really expect yourself to see all these things in 15 seconds so that's where the real value of color neutrality comes in <clears throat> you can look for these easier solutions and you don't have to do these very complicated and often hard to finger trick solutions so I think I'll just do a couple more and then that'll be it oops those are the same ones sorry. Okay, um, so what I, or I'm going to point out the pieces again, here, 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 and here. So what I first notice Check. is when I do a D, this piece is one move away from being solved. Um, and you know, it's kind of just try to practice seeing all these ideas so then I see that I'm gonna look at these two pairs these two pieces and I would just sell them like this and then M2 and F but I see that if I do an M2 these two end up in a bad position okay I forgot I forgot to scramble, so let me do that. So, if I set up this, if I do a U first, and then all this stuff, then that's seven moves. So, I'll show that one again. So I'm going to solve these two first, but I'm going to do a setup move. So when I do the M2, this guy will get paired up over here. The setup move is a U prime. And sometimes just look at their solution. It's probably going to be different from yours since there's usually more than one um, one solution, one optimal solution. F, um, so, okay, so they came up with another idea. And, okay, I think, yeah, I'll just... Um, okay, I'll show you some of my, some interesting pair inserts. So this one and let me just mess up this one so a common idea is say I want to solve this guy first you want to solve this such that you influence the other pair in a good way so here the way I would solve this is like this So I've paired up the other pair while solving that. So we can try the same case and see if we get something different. I mean, just with a different um, orange pair positioning. So the orange pair now are over here. So there's one over here and one over here. So we can go through many different ways to solve it so this is also another interesting way of solving it and it's also four moves like the last one and I'll end you up with this position and then you have to evaluate do you think 